Hi there, my name is Blushin and I'm over here living my best cottagecore farming life. Let's avoid the disaster of the house over here. And today I'm going to be making a guide for 1.17.1 Minecraft. I get a lot of requests asking me, hey, will you make an updated guide for 1.17 Minecraft? And I simply point them to my previous guide. My previous guide, even though it says 1.16, will absolutely work on 1.17. The process hasn't changed, but the reason I'm making this guide is because I want to install fabric alongside my Optifine. And in order to do this, I'm going to be using a launcher for Minecraft called MultiMC. MultiMC is a open source launcher that allows you to have multiple copies of Minecraft running at the same time. It's available on Windows, Mac, and Linux, the same as Java Minecraft, and it allows you to both load modded Minecraft and have CITs while on the latest version of Minecraft. So you can have a modded instance of 1.12.2 while also having a complete put together 1.17.1 for playing with friends like I am now. Look at all my horses. These are all my horses. I, I like my horses. And uh, over here, I have some bees. I, I love them. They're, they're my babies. Hi. Oh God, so cute. Anyways, <laughs> sorry. I got a bit distracted here. All right. so. Let's start our very best cottagecore Minecraft life and get started with first installing fabric and secondly, installing Optifine. Just as a uh, quick reminder, Forge and Fabric are mod loaders. Being said, you can only run one mod loader at a time. So for example, you can either choose Forge or fabric launchers in order to load mods. You cannot run both at the same time and you will have to choose between. For more modern versions of Minecraft, say 1.15 to 1.17, I do recommend running fabric. Fabric is going to have the widest range of support, the quickest updates. It's already available for 1.18, for example, while Forge has a lot of legacy mod support. If you want that rich, full, complete experience with an entire back catalog of really high quality mods, Forge is the way to go. Let's go ahead and shut down the game. And I'm gonna walk you through how to install Fabric and how to install Optifine, get CITs running, and maybe get a few mods running. We'll see how that goes. All right, see you in a sec. Today we're going to be using MultiMC to set up our new 1.17.1 fabric installation. MultiMC is an open source launcher for Minecraft. It allows you to run multiple instances of Minecraft and not have to manually swap around your mod folder every time you want to change to a different game version. We're going to scroll down to download and install where you'll see installers for Windows, Mac, and Linux. But because I like actual game support, I'm going to download the version for Windows as that the, that's the OS that I'm currently running. If you're on Mac, you'll download Mac. If you're on Linux, I assume you don't need a tutorial for this. <laughs> Now that we have MultiMC downloaded, we're just going to go ahead and extract here using 7-Zip. You can also use the extract all feature, but I like using 7-Zip. It's a really handy program. Now that we're here, you'll notice there's a new folder. And once we click inside, we have all of the core junk that comes with it, but we're gonna be paying attention to this exe. It may or may not have exe at the end, but it will always say multi-mc. A quick double click and we'll head into setup. I personally speak American English, so that's the language I'll select. If you speak any of these other languages, there is an installer for you. 
We have a uh, Java 16 version right here. It has a shiny recommended star. We're also going to come down here and change the minimum and maximum memory allocation that we're going to give Java. I personally have 32 gigabytes of RAM on my computer. So that means I can be a little more generous with what I give it. I normally give about 12 gigabytes of RAM to Minecraft. A good rule of thumb is that you should give about half of your total RAM to Minecraft. So if you have eight gigabytes, you should give about four gigabytes of RAM. If you have 16 gigabytes, you should give about eight. Very simple rule of thumb. Once we click next, it's going to ask if we want to send analytics and statistics to the developer. I'm going to say no, and we're going to hit finish. The first thing we'll need to do for Multi-MC is get signed in to our Minecraft account. You can do that by heading to the upper right hand corner, clicking the Steve head that says profiles, and then heading to manage accounts. Now that we're on Manage Accounts, you can either add your Microsoft account or your old style Minecraft account. Let me go ahead and get signed in really quickly and then we'll be right back. Wow, that was very fast. Now I'm signed in to my account and we can go ahead and get started installing Fabric for 1.17.1 Minecraft. I think you're about to be very surprised at how easy it is. You may notice I have a couple modded instances right here. If you don't have any instances, nothing will show up here, but we'll head over to the upper left hand corner and click add instance. From add instance, I'm going to go ahead and select the latest version of Minecraft 1.17.1. If you want to play a newer version of Minecraft, for example, a 1.18 beta, you could go ahead and play one of the snapshots. But I'm going to go ahead and turn snapshots off and choose 1.17.1. And of course, I'll name it that as well. You can group instances. I don't use that. It's up to personal preference. We'll go ahead and click OK, and now we have a 1.17.1 instance. However, that doesn't mean that anything is added onto it. This is a vanilla instance. In that case, we'll head to Edit Instance, which is the first option of this group, and we'll click Edit Instance. You'll see we have Minecraft 1.17 and a bunch of gibberish that is Java. Don't delete the gibberish. In order to install a mod loader, we'll need to head over to this portion where it has install forge, install fabric, or install light loader. Because there's no forge or light loader launcher, our only option is to install fabric, which we'll do with a one click. We'll let it automatically select the recommended version for us, and then we'll click OK. And that's it. Well, sort of. We're still going to need to install the Fabric API, which is an essential mod that you'll be running alongside Fabric. It allows most mods to essentially go, and it's very important. Links to every mod that I use, including the Fabric API, is always available at blishin.co slash FAQ. It's often going to be in all of my social media links, and it will be in the description of this video. From there, we're going to go to loader mods, and this will allow us to add new mods to our instance without relaunching each time. I'm gonna head to add. From here, we're gonna go ahead and grab the Fabric API. And now we have the Fabric API loaded into Minecraft. From here, the world is your entire oyster and you can add and subtract as many mods as you would like. Personally for me, because I use CIT packs and our ultimate goal is to use CITs on 1.17.1, I'm going to install Optifine and Optifabric, which is a translation mod 
for OptiFind. From here, we're going to go to Add, and I'm going to add OptiFine and OptiFabric. I did that by uh, pressing Control. You can press Control to add and subtract from your selection, and then hit Open. From here, we have OptiFabric and OptiFine. Both of these are the latest version. Both of these are available in my FAQ page or in the description of this video. Don't worry, I'm not going to leave you high and dry. From that point, we do have an additional category, which allows us to automatically add resource packs to our game without having to mess around with reloading the game every time we want to change resource packs. So from here, I'm going to come into my resource packs folder and I'm going to add Mizuno 16 Craft. I'm going to add Mizuno 16 Craft CIT and I'm going to add the invisible item frame pack. These are my core resource packs that I always use to test and I always play with them. From here, we have them automatically added and managed by MultiMC. I don't need to worry about anything else at this point. You can also use this edit instance to add notes, to manage any saved games, to manage any saved servers, to access your screenshots folder, and of course, to change any settings that you would like, including adding or subtracting more memory, or adding Java arguments if you're a big kid. But now that we have everything set up in MultiMC for this instance, I'm going to go ahead and click launch. And crossing fingers, everything goes as planned. All right, and there we go. We have basically added everything, including mods and Mizuno 16 craft to a version of Minecraft. And this is the first time I opened it up. It works flawlessly. Of course, just because something works flawlessly doesn't mean we can't get out of testing. And we'll go ahead and jump into a testing world just to make sure that our CIT packs and Optifine work correctly. Isn't that pretty? Oh, I love spruce biomes. Oh, and foxes. Absolutely adorable. All right, so the last thing we'll need to do, and I'll slingshot over here real quickly, is test for CITs. I do that with what I call the cookie test. So what we're going to do is go to search items, grab an anvil, grab a cookie, that's not how you spell cookie, and grab an item frame. From there, place the anvil down, rename our cookie with underscore one, which should automatically change the image here. That's a good sign that CITs are working. And We'll go ahead and place our item frame on this anvil, which you may notice is an invisible item frame. From there, we'll place our cookie on top of the item frame, and there we go! CITs inside of Minecraft. Ah, you love to see it. Anyways, of course, if you run into any problems, the best way to get support is through my Discord. That's going to be at discord.gg slash blishin or linked in the bio or on all of my social media. If you have more common questions, I will be popping into the comment section of this video, but if not, my Discord is a great resource for help, especially for those fiddly little bugs that may need a couple of eyes to look it over. Other than that, I hope you have a fantastic time with your new version of Minecraft. I hope you play around with multi-MC, maybe load up a 1.12 instance, maybe play around with Forge a little bit. You can do it without too much hassle. And of course, there's now a sheep bawling in my ear. Hi, sir. Yes, you are cute. You are very cute. Other than that, my name is Blishin. I hope you found this video uh, at least instructional, if not quick. And aside from that, stay happy, stay healthy, and 
Happy Minecraft!